consider a scenario in which everyone who was born between 4th October and 15th October chooses to celebrate their birthday on the same day. What a delight, wouldn't that be? So, in 1582, that must have taken place. On the evening of 4th October, Christian Europe went to sleep and awoke on 15th October. A gap in time? The vortex devilish laziness? Not at all. This anomaly is due to Julius Caesar's Julian calendar, which was adopted by the Roman Republic in 46 BC. Caesar, a little egoistic but not stupid, devised a calendar that worked pretty well, so much so that we used it for 16 centuries. This calendar has a 365 days year, plus a 366 days year every four years. As a result, the average year was 365 days and six hours long. The catch is that the Earth revolves around the Sun in exactly 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds. When said like that, it sounds insignificant. However, after a while, this slight annual lag began to take hold. By the middle of the 16th century, 11 days had been lost. That's when the Church steps in. Pope Gregory XIII, assembled a college of scholars, to whom he entrusted the difficult task of reforming the calendar at the request of church scholars, who were finding it increasingly difficult to fix the date of Easter. So they began by shortening calendar years to correspond with solar years. To accomplish this, they eliminated three leap years from a total of 100, which is why years ending in 00 are no longer leap years unless they are divisible by 400, such as 1600, 2000, or 2400. This first reform reduced the difference between the calendar and solar years from 11 minutes to 25 seconds per year, which is better, but still not precise enough to know when the bells should ring. When they were unable to find adequate remedies for the 10 days of delay brought on by the Julian calendar, they resolved to advance the calendar by 10 days. Gregory XIII published his new calendar on 24 February 1582. This calendar is known as the Gregorian calendar in Spain and all the papal states. And it began on 4 October and ended on 15 October. The Gregorian calendar was accepted in France two months later on 9 December 1582. On 2 September 1752, nearly 200 years later, the British Empire, which included the United States, officially adopted the Gregorian calendar. Russian national churches did not accept the Pope as the legitimate head of the Roman Catholic Church, hence the country did not adopt the Gregorian calendar until 31 January 1918.